All right, it really just pulls at your heartstrings to listen and look at these heartwarming stories. But today is International Food Photography Day, and naturally in the kitchen we're going to be making dishes worthy of stepping in front of the camera. And today we have Sam Linzel with us, who knows all about creating beautiful dishes. She's a cookbook author and a food blogger. Sam, very nice to have you in studio. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so, so you're going to teach us not only how to create a beautiful looking dish and tasty as well, but also some photography skills. But that comes a little bit later what are we going to be doing in the kitchen right now well today we're going to make something that's really simple and something yes. that's actually perfect for a, a weeknight supper it's a chili cola chicken chili cola chicken and it okay. really is just a lovely recipe it just has very few ingredients and takes about 15 minutes to make that is perfect so, because i mean living a, a busy life you know coming home you don't want to spend hours cooking yeah, it's a little bit innovative because we've got a lot of flavor and obviously we're using cola mm. which is a little bit of a, a, an interesting ingredient to use in food it's definitely got lots one of, of my, sugar and yeah definitely one of my favorite ingredients chilies in there. I love chili. Okay, so take us through so, what we are going to need. What we're going to need is first of all we heat the pan with a little bit of um, peanut oil. You can use um, sunflower oil, peanut oil, yes. whatever. We get that get it a bit hot. Um, the ingredients really consist of um, chicken. Chicken. It's skinless <laughs> chicken so that's even a little bit oh, healthier. Wow. Okay. And this is thigh meat which is a, the, the tastier part of the chicken. The more redder meat. It's the darker yeah. meat yeah. and um, um, it's really it's the best part in my, my opinion. What we do to prepare the chicken is you just dust it with a little bit of corn flour and some soy sauce Alrighty. and you do this in advance okay um you basically marinate that for at least 10 minutes in your fridge oh so it doesn't need to or be an hour or even it could be whatever yeah. whatever suits you it can be overnight it could be 10 minutes right. whatever Perfect. you just really want everything to amalgamate but for the purposes of today, we're going to cook it right away. That's fine. I'm sure it's going to yeah. be just <laughs> as just tasty. It'll just be as good. But so. like Sam said, you can make this at home very, very quickly. All you need to do is SMS the keyword CHICKEN to 33728. We'll send all the ingredients straight to your mobile phone. All right. So the soy sauce, I love the ingredients in this because it's going to give such a powerful taste, I'm sure. Absolutely, um, very, very strong. And you would think with a, with a cola that it would be a bit sweet, but yeah. in actual fact, there's quite a lot of soy sauce what is the, that what, tends to balance out yeah. the sweetness. You, you put in the corn flour there. What does yes. that add to, to your chicken? What, what that does it really do? does is create a little bit of thickness and a bit I of see. texture when you, when, it, when you make the sauce a bit later on. All right, all right. So what you need to do is just quickly brown up the, the chicken. Mm, I can smell that soy sauce coming out so strongly. What a nice smell. Yeah. Oh, soy sauce probably got one of the best flavors ever. Yeah, it is so wonderful. Nice. Yeah. Full of umami and mm. so once that is all nicely brown, you then need to add all your aromatics, which is your garlic. Yes. And your um Ooh, ginger. Ginger and your chili. That's it. You that's ginger it. In you go. Thank you and for you just top that around for about a minute or so just to make sure that all of the aromatics all right. are infused with the, the food. And everything's nicely brown. That's it. Yeah, this is, as I said, yeah, it's relatively healthy. You know, you're using just a little bit of oil yeah. and a little bit of sugar, but it's, kids absolutely love this. So it's a perfect meal to, to make your I'm children. I'm sure, I'm sure. I would love this. Of course, if you have just tuned in, we are making chili cola chicken with Sam Linsley here in the kitchen this morning. Oh, and those aromas are just releasing as it hits the pan. It's beautiful. So you, you said you love chili. I do. I so, love chili. Yeah, so I think for someone like you, um, to add a bit of extra chili, to give it a yeah. real firecracker. Um, I did. You know, a little bit of you know, beads thing. of sweat on the yeah, forehead, you know, that kind of thing. You know, you just keep it quite mild. You can also eliminate the chili. All right, cool. And once that's nicely browned, you pour in your, your cola mm, mm, mm. and the rest of your soy sauce. And then Lovely. that is really essentially your work is done here. And that's pretty much it. That's it. What and you now do, you can wait for it to fizzes cook. a little bit. And all you do is just stir occasionally and on a low simmer, medium simmer, yes. medium to low simmer, and you just stir it and it'll thicken it up. Yeah. So gorgeous. Oh, that looks Easy. amazing. So, of course, you can get their ingredients mm. sent to your phone. You can make this at home. It's a quick and easy recipe. SMS the keyword chicken to 33728. All right, Sam, so once this is done, you serve it You serve yes. it like this. You this is our end product. Serve it with some steamed rice. You can use jasmine or basmati rice. It's lovely with it. Yes. And um, I've plated it up here because we're going to be doing a little talk about um, taking um, photographs yeah. of food. And what I've done is I've plated it in such a way that you can see some of the rice and you can see some of the cola chicken. The garnish for this dish is absolutely lovely and adds a huge amount of flavor and texture. It's chopped up spring onions and some roasted cashew nuts, which is lovely. So it gives you a little bit of a crunch. Definitely worth stepping in front of the camera, yeah. these dishes, of course. Stay yeah. tuned because after the break, Sam will be teaching us how to take the perfect photos because she's actually put together a cookbook with beautiful photos she's taken herself. We'll put all those details on our website, expressoshow.com, and also where you can find her blog. We'll see you just now. 
By partnering with the WWF, we found goodness in sustainable fishing practices. Pick and pay. Always there for you. Welcome back. It's in Geskakel here. Good feel on both programs. It's Expresso Net here on SABC3. So just before the break, we made an amazing chili cola chicken dish with Sam Linzel, who's a cookbook author and also a food blogger. And she knows all about taking proper photos of your food with it being International Food Photography Day. So here she is going to give us some great lessons as to how to take those photos, Sam. It looks delicious, Sam. It looks good. Let me tell you, sticky, wholesome goodness. You're not lucky. So here's what's going to happen. Here's what's going to happen. Sam is going to give us some basic and some tools as to how to go about mm -hmm. photographing or photographing food properly and then we're gonna each of us take a picture yep. right yes. we're gonna yeah. submit that on our Facebook page and you guys need to go and vote and then you know He's whoever wins wins I guess okay. you know, it's good, it's good boost the ego. <laughs> so Sam let's start off with with hardware okay. what do we need in terms of taking proper photos okay I think just for the, the start out here I think your food at, in any food photography your food has to look great so yes. whatever you try and do try and make it look beautifully plated yes. use some beautiful props that I've done That's here it. garnished um, properly beautifully garnished and mm. nice and fresh. If your feet, your food is looking a little bit tired, all you need is spritz a little bit of water, something oh, along no those lines. Spray, eh? No hairspray, <laughs> nothing artificial here. What I've done is because I like to create a little bit of a mood with yeah. my photography, so I've, yes. I'm, I've chosen a surface that's got a bit of dark background because I like the look and feel of that. Yeah. And because you're shooting quite close up, you don't see the edges, so it looks like you're shooting on a, an interesting yes. surface. It just makes the image a little bit more exciting. Very okay, nice. cool. um, when in doubt, yeah. you can shoot just on white. White always looks fantastic. Yeah. Yes. Um, the, the one thing about uh, food photography photography is really all about lighting yeah and um, you don't right. want to be using a flash at all I tried that in during yes. the break with my phone and it looks horrendous no, with flash the flash is terrible See, that's and, um, what happens to cheaters uh, yeah. <laughs> no flash and um, the thing is to do is I shoot with natural light um, so I, I, I look for a place in my in my That's home it. and in my studio where I get some side light coming through a window and you wait for the right time. So to play around till you find the right sort of lighting conditions for yourself. Yeah. Right, and don't cool. be afraid, and wait for the light, you can bounce it in and out oh, away. Nice. So just to make sure that you, if they're darker yeah. patches, then you've got your camera, that's obviously the next thing. Yeah. You can shoot with any kind of camera, obviously. Yeah. How serious you are about photography yeah. will determine how much money you spend and what yeah. kind of camera you go for. I'm shooting with a, a digital SLR camera. I use a, a prime lens, which is a fixed focus macro lens, yeah. because it doesn't have a zoom. So you focus in and um, the only way to, to you move in and away from your subject. Yeah. But you know, you can achieve yeah. <laughs> a lot with um, you know, small point and shoots. That's it. My other suggestion for anyone taking a picture is to make sure that your camera is quite stable when mm -hmm. you're shooting. Mm -hmm. So I use a tripod. Yes. It also means then that if you're shooting in slightly lower light conditions, yeah. um, I also use um, a remote uh, you know, trigger yeah. so that I don't even touch. touch the camera at all. So there's okay. absolutely zero camera so there's, shake there's or blur. An, yeah, and there's no specific angle that you can take. You can play it around no, and exactly. see which well, angles, vantage yes. point kind of works yeah. for the you The angle as well. is very, very important. Um, certain foods are better to be shot yeah. from above if there's a lot of detail on the top. For okay. example, a pizza will always look yeah. better if you're nice. shooting from a slightly top shot. Yeah. Um, most food actually does best at about a 45 degree angle okay. or varying degrees of a 45 degree angle. Okay. Yeah. Does this um, food speak to you? Does it tell you how it wants yes, to be exactly. shot? Exactly, it does exactly that. So I, I let the food, I look at the food and I, I think yeah. how does it, how does it going to work? Um, how, is my pro, how are my props best going to be shown? Yeah. If I shot to two side on, I'm not going to see enough of the top. So I make yeah. all those decisions and then I get to shooting. I, I create mm -hmm. some nice light. And then the best thing to do is to understand your camera and, and figure out all the, the, the details yeah. there. All right. Nice. Well, I think on that point, you guys, you know, you, I'll let you okay. guys go first in taking okay. these photos. All right, Sam, thank you very much okay. for joining us Pleasure. this morning. It was thank fantastic. You awesome. We're going to take these photos. We're going to upload them on our website. You guys go vote and see which yeah. photo okay. makes oh, your yeah, mouth yeah, drool. It's going to be on yeah. Facebook. So while we do this, let's go over to our very special rocking guests this morning. Here they are. Good luck on the roof. Shannon.